Hello everyone, it is Travel G1981 here, and you might find something different with my eyes. Yes, I had a physical checkup yesterday, and I had these skin tags on my near my eyes, uh, frozen with nitri nitrogen. And yeah, look, my eyes look really weird. I don't know why. Well, but under beneath my eyes, right here, it looks really weird. I've never seen that happen before. Maybe it's kind of a side effect. I hope not. Um, anyways, uh, this is my first vlog of Octofast. I have other vlogs, but this one is a concern. This one associates with Octofast. And I've said during my vlogs that I was going to do a liquid shake diet. Um, and this is the one done affiliated with my, uh, hospital, which is Kaiser Permanente. Um, if you go to Optifast.com, that's O-P-T-I-F-A-S-T.com, uh, just search for it. They'll have some clinics nearby or maybe a hospital nearby that you can uh, register on. The program costs about $2,400. Um, and for me, it's $2,100. Um, just for some special uh, price, I guess, for us. Uh, anywho, um, so the Octofest program is... Um, a shake and a program, and the program lasts about six months. Uh, towards the fifth and sixth month, you're in transition to food, which, I don't know, I, I'm thinking if I have the money by then, I'll be able to purchase some more, because I plan to, I, I do plan to lose a ton of weight, not so much, like, I'm not saying three, four hundred pounds in six months, but just enough that I can be able to ride a bike, and that's been my ultimate dream ever since, uh, you know, I tried different methods of losing weight. And I'm like, yeah, that's the major thing I want to do. I want to be able to ride a bike. So from then on, I'll be able to lose weight, weight even more. Because riding a bike is something I've done since middle, since I was a kid, riding a bike, you know. I was in the tip-top shape of my life back then. Uh, I weighed 220 in high school. And now I'm... Now, 300, pound, 300, 300 pounds later, I'm now 500, 553 pounds. So, uh, I don't want to tell you guys like it is, and ladies, if you watch my video, that I'm, I was 553 pounds. I'm not going to lie to you people. I want to be truthful to you because if you're going to subscribe to my channel and you're going to watch my videos, I'm, I'm not going to lie to you guys and ladies. Or everyone, let's say, let's say that. I just want to keep it truthful to you and let you know how it is. I'll give it to you straightforward. So the Octofest program, uh, the first couple of weeks is drinking powder shakes. So these powders, they come in different flavors. They come in vanilla, strawberry, and chocolate. I can tell you that the chocolate is not that great. I mean, I love chocolate. It just leaves a lot of uh, leftovers on the bottom of the shaker. And uh, I don't have a shaker to show you right now, but I'll I'll be giving away a shaker though, eventually once uh, on my video, if I can find a video that does really well in the next couple months, I'll give out some uh, free stuff. Uh, holding out some contests for you guys who and ladies who watch my videos. Why do I keep on saying guys and ladies? I'll say everyone. Okay, I'll try to make sure that's a habit. I'll say everyone, but. <coughs> <coughs> But we do about uh, the shakes. I do take drink about five shakes a day, uh, and each shake is about 160 calories. Um, so I'm supposed to drink about five shakes a day, 160, 160 calories each packet. Um, that's 800 calories uh, per day. So that's downsizing all my calorie intake for that one day. Um, so as you know, I'm going to let you know, uh, my weight here. Um, it says on June 9th, I weighed 553 pounds. Uh, last week I did my weigh-in, my first weigh-in, uh, from using the shake on June 17th, and I weighed about 537.68 pounds, and just, uh, a couple of days ago, because I, well, two days after my, um, meeting, I had to do a checkup, a follow-up checkup, and, uh, give me a second to find out. I lost two pounds. I weighed 
535. So we, I lost two pounds, and it's going. It's going good. I just know that somewhere in the middle of drinking these shakes, I'm going to get tempted by all these kinds of foods. Uh, it's, it's definitely really hard, but I tell my friends, they understand perfectly. It's just my mom and my brother. They're just like, they're going to all these lavishly great places that I love. Like, if you live in Southern California, there's portals. Cuban bakery. Oh my god. Mwah, the best stuff on earth. Literally, they have uh, guava pastries, apple strudels, um, potato balls. Uh, my favorite cake is called the Mango Moose cake. It's like, it's getting ridiculous. Because they're getting these great places, and then when I wasn't on a diet, they've never gone to these great places. It's always when I'm on a diet, they go to these lovely places, and I'm like, uh, drool. But I got control, and hopefully all of you can support me on this OptiFast diet. So, uh, I know, uh, I think in a couple weeks from now, we're going to start eating We'll have the option to eat uh, bars, and then a couple months later on, before the transition, they'll give us an option to drink soups. I think it's like tomato soup or chicken soup. Um, chicken soup does sound good, but then I'll have to put some Tabasco sauce or whatever. We'll see how it goes, right? Uh, so, uh, I guess uh, in, in a couple days, when I do my next weigh-in, I'll actually do a video of me drinking the video drinking the shake, shaking it for you, showing what I'm drinking, so you know what it is, and uh, so far, uh, it's it's been a great journey so far with the OctoFast program, but also to um, reflect on what's been happening with my life, uh, two days ago, we, was it two, no, one day ago, one Saturday, one day ago, which was Thursday, today's Saturday. Would, would it be one day ago or two days ago? One day ago. Uh, okay, whatever. But on Thursday, on uh, 2019, on the 18th, we buried my father. That, God bless. Rest in peace. Um, yeah, he's, we saw him the day before, and that's the witness cremation. That was really tough because, you know, where um, seeing him in his body for the last time in his suit. <laughs> and then we put some pictures inside his casket for of us um, that we were burned together. And, you know, just some... Our final goodbyes. Uh, we did have the funeral a couple of days before. We had our final goodbyes also, and with some close friends. Um, but uh, it was like a final, final goodbye before we cremate you. And uh, it's pretty tough it's, um, just to see the whole process going. Good thing we don't see the whole thing burning. Just see them put them into the, to the, to the place and then close the doors. And, you know, uh, cremation process takes about uh, four hours. So we were, we're actually there for... I think three or four hours because we're walking around uh, the the um, funeral park or the the park where they have they have all the um, stuff there. Can't even talk right now. I'm already getting emotional. Um, and then uh, the day afterwards, which was um, Friday, uh, which was. Uh, Okay, so it was two days ago. Today's Sunday, actually. My mistake. Today is the... No, today's actually Saturday. Why am I getting mixed up? That's crazy. So it was two days ago we had his cremation. I'm sorry. Uh, and then Thursday we had the uh, burial service. We put the... Um, uh, the urn into a protector, so the protector is like this big, and the urn is like this, this round, put inside the protector, so nothing can get inside, so we brought some more memorabilia, like more pictures, a Father's Day card, because tomorrow's Father's Day, um, we included some memorabilia, like my dad was a big collector of coasters, so put some coasters inside the protector, 
Uh, what else do we put in there? Um, some empty match boxes because he was a collector of, collector of matches. Surprisingly, I didn't see any sugar pouches because I know my dad loved to collect sugar, but maybe we thought it, it wouldn't be the best idea to put sugar in there. Uh, what else? Um, put some USC memorabilia because my dad's a hardcore USC Trojan. Go Trojans! Uh, yeah, hopefully you guys do good this year. Um, make my dad proud. Um, what else? Um, that's probably about it I can think of. Close the ceremony with some roses inside. Close it up. Um, want to thank everyone for their, uh, their wishes, condolences on YouTube, uh, Facebook, and just my friends in general. It's been an uh, emotional roller coaster for me. And uh, thankful for all the friends that came out and all the YouTube people that have uh, helped me along the way. I really appreciate it. Um, but that's about it. And uh, I just uh, hope you guys can want, just continue watching my videos. Um, Watch my old videos, my new videos, and, um, yeah, that's about it. That's all I can say. Uh, this is Travel G1981 here, and hopefully you guys have a wonderful weekend. Happy Father's Day to everyone who's a father or soon-to-be father, and um, I'm going to sign off. See ya.